Hi guys, I'm Tsuyoshi. Today I shoot a back take from Velahiva, which is a baby bottle. It should be a really efficient technique from Velahiva. When at time, you can knock out the color. I'm going to break out technique step by step. Let's get started. Alright, I play Velahiva. Then ideally I want to grab its color to control its portion if you want to play the like this. But it's not available sometimes. Of course he doesn't like to get control. That's why whenever he has a chance, he wants to cut. Then he portion up like this. You're still looking for movement, but sometimes it's because, especially if I roll with him, he's really tall and big. That's why it's so hard for me to reach it. But on the other hand, if I stay in this position for a long time, so I'm in trouble, especially if he wants to step my leg over. This is no longer the Lahiba, once he step over my right leg. I want to avoid it. So when it happens, there's going to be multiple options, right? You can still look for a card grip or switch to sit up girl like this. I've already shown in other video. Or you try a baby ball, like a back take, it's grabbing the belt. Okay? So when a time I can grab the car, I'm going to reach his belt. Obviously he's not easy for me to reach. So I use my elbow joint, the side I grab his heel. Okay? I use my left arm in multiple ways. I still keep on his heel and then look how I use my elbow to come up. Like this. Okay? So as I do so, I can come up with my upper body. So that's the time I grab the belt. Yes. And then I grab. Okay. So this is a position I make control. Okay. And then next, I'm going to take a step back from this position. I step the floor and then I slightly raise my hips up. As if I can take a stand up move. Okay. I raise my hips up like this. It's almost like hanging on him. Then that's the moment I'm, I'm going to go around him. Okay, I raise my hips up and then I come to this side. Next, I will control pass up leg. There are so many ways to do it, but I like this grab in front of his ankle like this, with the material. This is what I like to do, right? Like I said, there's been so many ways. Right? Some people like to grab the pants like this or around the heel. So this is not tight enough. If I go like this, he can shoot his leg like this. Then I cannot regain the angle. Okay, so here in this position, look. Like an uppercut. Then I grab the material. So this is what I want to do. So as I do so, he cannot come back and follow me. Even though he tries to chase me, look, I'm really connected with him. Okay? Then other side of my leg. Okay? I trap his ankle like this. I will make a behind his right knee. That's the most important part in this technique. Okay? I slightly push myself away with my left leg. And then one. Okay? I place my behind his knee, then I make the momentum to adjust the angle, like doing the reverse escape. And then I come to this position. Okay, from this position, I will bring his hips down. As you can see, he still has posture, so which is not easy for me to take the back, like making a club right. So from this position, I pull his hips, then I slightly raise my hips up, like this. Then, by the time I pull him down, I send him forward, like using my back of the like this. Okay, then I stand up. Next, right, I just reach the pants grip and then I cut the shoulder on this side. Right? Before I make a seat throw, I want to make sure that I control the left shoulder to stop his rotation. As you can see, I'm controlling the diagram of his body. So with my right hand, I grab the belt on this side. And then with my left hand, I cut the left side of the shoulder like this. Then he cannot rotate as I control the diagram. Okay, from this position, I raise the belt grip and then I put my right arm over his shoulder to make seat belt. Okay. After I make it, I'm going to fall on good side. That means I'm going to fall on my right side. Okay. By the time I fall, I shoot my right leg. Then I make the hook on the bottom. Then I fall to the second hook like this. Especially this time, when the time I cannot grab the card, uh, he even get his legs straight into it like this. Okay. Especially if he doesn't bend his right knee, I cannot make the hip. There is no corner at all to make her. So in this case, I want to even hide my hip as well. If I go like this, I'm completely exposed my hip. Right, he's there to stack my leg, like making an underhand. Then I'm in trouble. So when a time I cannot make the proper delta hip, I like to bend my knee like this. Like my tiptoes are pointed floor like this. And then my legs are going to be a little heavy. Then he cannot stack my leg for a while. Then from this, okay, like I showed before, I use my elbow to come up. Then one more details, right? Not gonna come up forward. It's gonna be so hard to do, even though you use your elbow. It's almost like coming up to the side. 
Okay, I use my elbow as if I look at a side and then I can come up. It's gonna be way easier, not going forward. Okay. Then one thing, I want to secure space between me and him. So that is using my right hook like this. You don't need to kick your leg properly, but somehow you just want to place a soul on his inner thigh like this. This is how you secure a space between you and him. Okay? Then I use my elbow to come up. By the time I come up, I grab the belt like this. Okay? If there is no belt, you can grab the pants like this. But in this case, I just want to show you with the belt here, like this. Okay? Then before you fall on the mat, you want to use the momentum. Okay? You step the floor like this. Then next one is the most important in this technique. Okay? I'm not going to go like this. Right? There's no momentum at all. Look, I raise my hips up like this, like hang on him. Okay? So then from now, I slow my body to the side, as if I make him step back, like this. Okay? Does in one motion. Then once I come, I cut the shin, like I showed you before. Then I adjust the angle a little bit. So obviously, here's no space for me to put my leg in. That's why, as if I push myself away with my left leg. Look. Then I stay. Okay, from this position, I push myself to my hips. Okay, and next, I raise my hips up and get it to sit up. As soon as I sit up, I cut the shoulder, I make seat belt, and then I fall on the back. Right, the next one, it's got a variation, leg drag. Okay. Of course, the best case scenario is a back take, but sometimes not available to do. Especially the time I like this, okay? Before I make the behind me, he may be able to turn to my side like this. Or sometimes you may not be able to find a space to move up or make a hook. Instead of circulating like this, you gotta slide the shin in. Like making a knee shape. Then when I turn I do the movement, I will make the butterfly hook behind the knee like this. Then I set up the position. I will bring that to the ground. Then I do two things, right? I do hip escape, like doing reverse hip escape. I scoop out of this. By the time I do, I pull his belt down to make him sit down. In this position, I scoop my hips and then I take him down. Okay, once I bring him down, I'm gonna take top position with leg drop position. So I gotta do it step by step. As you can see, I expose my left leg like this, which is not good for me. If I keep my leg like this, he's able to pull my leg, then he can do neither, or he's able to pull into 50-50 as well. So that's why before I come up from this position, first I switch my legs, okay? I slowly push his leg with my right leg, and then look at rotate my leg to hide. By the time I place my left foot behind me, I switch my leg like this. From here to here. Okay? Then next one the most important part. Before I come up, I want to make sure that I drag his leg. Okay? I'm not gonna come up like this, right? I drag, then I tuck his left leg out of my armpit. Look. Like this. Okay? Then next I want to put a color grip on the far side. Obviously it's not easy to reach it. So in this position, I use my thumb to reach here. Okay. Then I get my thumb inside the jacket to grab the car like this. So this is the condition before I take it off. Okay. Once I set up, okay, I push the leg forward and then I come up with my toe and elbow. So here I push and use my tiptoes and then I come up like this. By the time I come up, I want to make sure that I trap his left leg completely with my arm. Next, what I'm going to do is make the base on top. Okay? I come up, then I drive my left knee on the mat, as if I make an inside base. And then I set a lecture position. First, I push his leg with my right leg. By the time I push, I circle my leg. By the time I do, I want to make sure that I pinch my knees together. This is very important okay? to make it smooth. If I open my knee, yes, I'm able to switch my legs. By the time I do, it's a lot of space. He's been able to circle his leg in. Then, he's going to drop my leg. That's what I have to avoid. So here, I push, I pinch my knees together, and then I'm going to rotate my leg. Look, this. By the time I rotate, I switch. 
<laughs> one more thing. When the time makes the butterfly hook, you want to use the outside of the hook. Especially the time in this position, you want to control his knee with the pinky side of the toe on this side, not on your thumb side. Like I said, you have to close your knee all the time when the time makes this position. Here. Okay. And then I can shut space down. If I use my thumb side, the butterfly hook, there's a space here. He can still spin his leg like this. Or he may be able to hold my leg like this. Yes, then I'm in trouble. So I gotta hide it, like using the pinky side. This is more control to trap his leg as well. Okay? And then from this position, like this. Okay? I don't want to kick my chest or belly like this. Then I can no longer do leg drag. So in this position, I drag here. Plus I move my body to put my chest on start. Okay? Then next, I have now my power. So like I said before, I'm not going to go from the inside like this. Like it slips me so much. Okay? I cannot take it off. The faster, okay? The one thing. I'm not going to look at the car when I turn my blood. It's almost like look at the other side. Then, like, for instance, with my thumb like this. This is how I get my thumb out of the jacket. So I look at the other side. It's going to be way easier for me to adjust my shoulder pole. This is how I grab the car. So I don't even need to look at it. As long as I do this movement, I can reach the far side of the car. Even though it's a fit of like this, I should have to reach it here. Today, I make the axis. The way I turn my feet up, I'll make sure that I keep on closing my elbows all the time. Today, I start pushing the leg, come up with my elbow. Look, there is no gap between me and him at all. Okay, after I go like this, I'm going to put my left knee on the mat, as if I'm driving to the side like this. Okay, in this position. So I'm about to take the next drag, but sometimes I cannot find a space to drag like this. His knees really close his chest like this. In this case, right, instead of doing leg drag, I switch to crab right. Okay, the first thing what I like to do is this. Okay, I keep his leg at the same time, same position, and then I switch my left leg. That comes behind the left knee. Okay, this. Okay. Then next one I'm going to make the card as like leg drag. Okay, I let go the grip on, my, on his leg, and then I grab this side, the far side of the car like this. Okay, once I set up, I'm gonna get upside down. That's the top spot in this technique. Okay, I pull his car and I kick his leg. Then I slowly put my forehead on the mat. Okay, by the time I do, I'm going to fall on my shoulder, on my left side. This. By the time I fall, I made a leverage to push his leg. Look how I push his leg to come to this position. Okay, once I come, I control his shoulder, or grab the jacket behind his neck, then I make the second hand. Then, I take the back. I keep the same spot, I use my tiptoes to raise my hips up. By the time I do, one. Okay, as soon as I do, I grab the far side's color. So it's the same as a lecture. I have to grab the far side, otherwise I cannot make the axis to spin. Okay, then when the time I roll forward, I slightly need to take the pressure from him. This time he's about to face my side, which is pretty hard for me. So I pull his collar and then I kick his leg like this. This is how I secure space between me and his back. Okay, I slightly raise my head up, then I fall on my shoulder. During the time I roll forward, I keep on pushing his leg. This is how I stay with him. Okay, I kick, pull, I will pull his belt. Okay. As I do so. I can bring it back like this. I grab my shoulder, or if I can find a space, I can cut the shoulder like this. And then, I make the second hook. Okay, ideally, I like to switch the side. So, I slide step his hips, and then, I take the back. 